POWs, surface to airs, heading this way, five clicks. How many? 25 VC, 10 POWs. Let's do it.
War's over. Let's go home. Where are you? If the other half of this bill ever finds you, you can pay me back. The name is Roberto Santos. McBain. Cristina. I told you I'd be back. They're looking for you everywhere. That's why I must do it now. It's such a dangerous plan, Roberto. God will protect me. How can you speak of God? God wouldn't allow a presidente to leave and the children to starve. What will we do if you don't come back? If you ever need help, I mean, really need it, and I'm not here, I want you to look up an iron worker by the name of Bobby McBain in New York. This is his address and the phone number of his union. Give him this bill. Comprendes? Si. Our time is gone. This time, the CIA said they will help us. Ah, uh, Roberto. The day you believe the CIA is the day you die. I'll be back. A gift for El Presidente from Simon Escobar.
Dios te bendiga. Gracias. Fellow Colombians, once again our farm figures have far exceeded our expectations. Cuban ballerinas will be visiting Bogota again. I know how much we all enjoy to watch them dance. army has seized control of Colombia. We call on the government of the United States of America to recognize us and provide us with immediate support. We pledge that within six months we will have free and democratic elections and will turn El Presidente over to the American judicial system who has indicted him for murder and drug trafficking. As I speak, El Presidente's forces are moving in against us. We have the support of the people, but without the support of the United States, we will be unable to survive. Manhattan, this is Cardinal. We've got a message for King Fisher. 10-4 Cardinal, this is Manhattan. Rebels acted entirely on their own, without any assurances whatsoever from us. The state has had absolutely no prior contact, Mr. President. It's possible, Mr. President, that a CIA agent, uh, totally without authority, may have led them to believe that we would help that a CIA agent... You guys agent... are fucking with the wrong president. Get the director up to the compound, now. If we wanted to help them out, could we? As we had no prior knowledge, sir, there's nothing we can do. How long can they last? Well, I'm sure the CIA can give you large reports and lots of graphs, but by the time you finish them, it will be all over. The rebels aren't going to live to see the sunset. but nothing yet from the Americans. What about El Presidente's army? Nothing.
Once again, we call on the government of the United States of America to please help us. Get up. Colombia earlier today, rebels briefly occupied the presidential palace as thousands demonstrated outside the gates. The leader of the attempted coup has been identified as Roberto Santos, who has been wanted by Colombian authorities for months in connection with his rebel group's alleged subversive activities against the Bajorquez government. The footage we are about to show you is extremely graphic, and viewer discretion is advised. Mr. Santos, upon surrendering, was publicly executed on the palace balcony by President Bajorquez himself before the stunned crowd. We do have an unofficial report that Colombian-born Roberto Santos, a highly decorated Vietnam War veteran, may have been receiving aid from the United States to back the coup attempt. There has been no official comment from the White House. We will continue to update this story as events unfold in Bogota. We now return you to your regular... War's over. Let's go home.
Bobby McBain? Yeah, he's up there. Expecting you. It was like cancer. At first, there were no signs. Everybody was happy. Escobar and the Presidente let the money trickle down. They gave the peasants coca leaves to chew on. Everybody was stoned, everybody was happy. So they, they stopped planting food. All they wanted was coca. And the people lost the interest. They grew thin. They ignored their children. Before, I remember, no matter how poor the people were, the kids had new clothes for, for Christmas. Now they don't have anything. Slowly, Escobar bought the country. If a newspaper criticized him, he blew it up. If a judge interfered with his affairs, he blew him up. So my brother couldn't stand seeing it any longer, and he started to fight back. At first, it was impossible, but Santos is such a good... ...was such a good talker. So Escobar got greedier and more ruthless. And I guess that helped. When I was about 17, I went to this famous concert with Stuck. Getting there, the traffic was so bad, I closed the New York State Thruway. I had to walk the last 25 miles. When I got there, I had no food. Shelter. Just music. For three days, I sat in the rain, smoked dope, was happy. When I got back to the city, I read about it in the newspaper. One reporter said he'd found a dark side to it. 500,000 people sitting in the mud, stoned, three days, not minding. At the time, I thought, what a fool, he just doesn't get it. Looking back 25 years, I think maybe he did. Does this rebel army have any money?
huge losses, possible inability to repay debt, and a stock that has lost 47 percent of its value in one year, you still refuse to cut executive salaries. How can you possibly justify a course of action like that? Your two minutes are up. Next. Mr. Button, Westertron owns two Gulfstream jets, which cost us over $3 million a year to operate. Corrections Officer Ortega died on the operating table. Dr. Janice Stern to OR emergency. Probably got in OR 6. What do we got? Crack deal gone bad. Six bullet wounds, two to the head. All right, let's stop the bleeding and see what we can do. But only you That's and your family and friends are allowed to use! Yeah. I don't have to take this crap. What are you doing? Stop that man! Explosion, oh. <laughs> he comes flying through the bathroom door with his ass on fire. Is that too much trouble? I could use a stat. Well, why bother? This one's dead. His heart's still beating. He isn't dead yet. Look at the brain scope. He's a flatliner. Why don't you call it? We can use the parts. It's all yours. <laughs> You were supposed to protect Mr. Barton. Well, sir, it sounds like Mr. Barton was supposed to protect them. It looks like we both screwed up. Hey, man, good to see you. How you been? Yeah. You got a minute for me? Sure. So what brings you here, huh? A couple of cocaine cowboys tried to bust a friend of theirs out of a prisoner caravan. I was riding shotgun. It was like a bad night in Vietnam, man. You all right? You get hit? Yeah, I'm fine. I rode up with the van driver. He was showing me pictures of his kids while we were waiting for the prisoners to get dressed. He had two kids, Carl, two beautiful kids. And he didn't make it. And he didn't make it. Shit. I didn't feel like going home. I didn't want to be alone. I figured maybe... I could buy you a beer. Come here. Anytime. Anytime I'm here, day or night. Anytime. They killed Santos, man. They shouldn't have done that, Carl. I know. Good afternoon. Mr. Bruce is expecting you. He's down at the beach. She's definitely real. I don't think even Simone Escobar lives like this. If you took the weight of the population of Washington, D.C. and turned it into gold, it'd be worth less than the annual worldwide drug trade. The dollar amount of the worldwide arms trade is four times that. Bobby, it's good to see you. It's been a long time. My man. You too. Nice spot you got here. 
Thanks. I need some help. You know, I'm not surprised to see Eastlet here, but I am surprised to see you. Santos is dead. You remember Santos? This is his sister. Yeah, I remember Santos. It's a hell of a thing they did to him. But there's nothing we can do about it now. You know, I get up in the morning, I go to work. I go to the same bar each night, drink the same beer, I laugh, I talk. But when I saw Santos on TV, I got jealous. Because he was doing what he did best. What, you miss the smell of napalm in the morning? Ten million dollars, pay or play. And I don't deliver to any hot LZs. Oof. The landing zones are going to be the best part. I know you think I'm an asshole, McBain, but uh, just because you're bored with your life doesn't mean you got to go off and get yourself killed. Frank, you got the house. You got the beautiful girl. Swimming laps in your indoor pool. You have three Ferraris, a yacht, a house in Aspen. Yet, when I come to see you, you're sitting in a chair like an old man, staring at the ocean. You having fun yet? It's a good price, McBain. I'll give you a deal for the old days. I know. Thanks. See ya. Yeah, just like old times. Do you think you can come up with the money? I can try. Ah, look at that. I told you. If I do get the money and you go back and all the rest happens, a lot of people are going to die. I know. You still want to do it? Yes. The Berlin Wall came down in two weeks. I know it can be done. From out here, it's hard to see what's wrong with that city. Yeah, but you still live in one of the best countries in the world because you have the right to do something about it. You know, that's all my people want. Well, if I can't talk you into sailing away with me, I guess I better take you to the airport. Good morning. Morning. Thanks for cleaning up. Who won? Gil did. You passed out after the 35th beer, but Gil was still able to talk. What did I say? You lay face down on the floor, and you said that you had never had so much to drink and still been standing. I took Christina to the airport. Let's go sit out on the deck.
You know, if somebody shot me the way they shot Santos, I'd expect you guys to do something about it. I'm in. Man, you know I'm in. So am I. But where do we get the money? I'm gonna use some of theirs. <laughs> Money. You guys sure kill a lot of people for a little money. People? Who gives a fuck about people like that? Or people like you, for that matter? Oh, I get it. Dealers of death. Like, who cares about people that sell drugs to eight year olds? Hey, man, you expect them to work in Burger King making $3.75 an hour? I pay them $200 a day. You know, they're just trying to make a living. Do I look like the kind of guy that could get a job in one of those glass towers? And as far as dealing drugs to eight-year-olds, you see any eight-year-olds down there? All I see is a bunch of assholes from New Jersey. You guys want money? Why don't you go after what's-his-face, uh, John Gambati? He's got the money. All I got is table drippings. You gonna do it? Do it. You did, motherfucker. So. Man, I love steak, but you know, ever since Big Paulie, everybody's afraid to go to a steakhouse. Hey, boss, check it out. That's a New York cut, huh? <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! 
Jesus Christ! Who in the hell are you guys? Do you know who the fuck I am? We know who you are. We know who your wife and kids are. I know who your girlfriend is. I even know where your grandchildren live. No one get away with hurting me, you bastard. No one! Anywhere you go, someone will find you! You sound like my boss. Screw your boss! I'm the top! Nobody is more powerful than I am! Compared to the people I work with, you're not much. You recall Munich. We tracked down and killed everyone responsible, including their family, for three generations. Even the Iranians don't fuck with us. Munich? They had nothing to do with Munich. If you had something to do with Munich, you'd be dead. You mean that you work for... <laughs> hey! Some of my best friends are Jews. I got nothing against you guys. That's why we're here. You see, this is our annual fundraising drive, and we would like you to contribute $10 million. This is the number of a Swiss bank account. Don't lose it. If the 10 million gets there, quick, we leave you alone. If not, you're going to be going to a lot of funerals, including your own. Oh, by the way, your brother-in-law, he's screwing you. Yeah, well, I thought he was. I thought he was! Now you get me the hell down! Come back here, you creep bastard! Get me down! How did he know about his brother-in-law? Everyone's being screwed by their brother-in-law. I hope the real Israelis don't find out about this. Where to now? Escobar ships his coke out of Jamaica. I think the least we could do is borrow one of his planes. drug factory. If we do not secure the airstrip, then our revolution will be finished before it has even begun. But remember, compañeros, nothing can stop the people whose time has come. ¡Sí podemos! ¡Sí podemos! Amigo. Mr. Checkford. Brought your present. Where'd you get this? Right here. Satellite receiver. Mini computer. Huh? You know, with the right software, I can tie into any spy satellite up there. That came off a Russian bird that went by at 4.30 this morning. Now, my C-130 is already in the air with your merchandise. There's the runway. That's the drug factory. The LZ is going to be under control, right? Christina and the Rebel Army are going to secure the landing zone. Or they're going to die. More than that, I don't know. Can I come? Let's go. Battery switch on. Cabin door, cargo door locked. Rotating beacons, navigation lights on. Propeller area clear. Port ignition start switch. Look at that! It started! Hey, buddy. When was the uh, last time you flew one of these things, huh? Ah! Dalton, I'm not joking. Don't worry. It's like riding a bike. Some things you don't forget. How long? 18 years. 18 years? Shit. I guess 
there's no sense in asking the tower for permission to take off, huh? I guess not. Yeah. Under no circumstances should the gross takeoff weight exceed 1,500. How much do you weigh? What do you mean, how much do I weigh? I mean, do you think all of us combined weigh more than those bags of coke we unloaded? One minute. We're flying into Colombian airspace. Too low. Something's tracking us. I better call my guys. There's an airbase 400 miles north of here. Something's headed our way. Red Dog 2, Red Dog 2. This is Red Dog 1. My fuzz buster just went off. What do you see? Red Dog 1, Red Dog 1. Three F5s closing on you. Dalton, take something the clouds. Need a blip. Mustang, 
Go check it out. Delivery van, this is Red Dog 2. Don't give those F5s an excuse. Stay in international airspace. 10-4, Red Dog 2. Red Dog 2 is an S211 escort for the C-130. If the airfield isn't secured or if we're intercepted, he'll turn back. Does he know who we are, what we're doing here? Uh, his father died in Vietnam. He's ex-army. He'll uh, fly for the right price. Red Dog 2, this is Lieutenant Robert McBain. What division was your father in, son? 101st Airborne, sir. 101st, the Brave Division. We're all that's left of the 143rd Ranger Battalion. Sure could use some help from the 101st. Three to one is no problem for the 101st, sir. Hang on, we're coming. Thank you. Hell from above. Hell from above. Delivery van holding and maintaining. Heavy hunting, Red Dog 2. Dog 2, I'm 10 minutes away, and you've got two new friends. Red Dog 1 closing in, but still out of range. Just hang on. If he doesn't get here soon, we'll be dead meat. I have a bogey on radar coming up fast. He's a fighter. Turn, prepare to engage. Bogey 
coming into range in 15 seconds. Arm aircraft, full ordinance. Arming aircraft, full ordinance. Come on, just a little closer, a little closer. Don't fire too soon. I have a lock! Fire missile!
¡A izquierda! Cuidado. Espacio. Calma, cálmense. Se vienen ahora. No puede pasar nada. First, sir, you're as good as they say. Thank you, sir. We're gonna unload the C 130 fast as we can and get you out of here. Begging your pardon, sir, but if those are the fuel dumps, I don't think the S 211's going anywhere, and without me, it's too risky to move the C 130. We'll get you out overland. I'd like to stay, sir. That might not be a good idea. I'd like to stay, sir, please. Thank you. The rebel army waits for your order, sir. The last two of our presidentes F5s are on their way here. We got 19 minutes before this whole place lights up. Move the C-130 over by the troops. Find the stingers. Set them up. Daly. Yes, sir. You got any fuel left? Not as the fly, sir. No. In 16 minutes, light the candle, switch on your radar. Run. Yes, sir. radar receptor to launch tube flanges. Secure blast shield. Connect battery pack. Red warning light should flash. All right, here they come. Four six nine five Stinger missile is now ready for operation. Pull the trigger halfway. The red missile warning light should flash. It's not flashing. They got man. shit. Jamming circuits off. Fail to light check the battery connections. Make sure the power switch is not on. Thank you very much. Where'd you get the car? A gold card has its privileges. 
hope you got the extra insurance. <laughs> well, we should take a picture, huh? I've got a mini cam, so let's line up. Come on. Say cheese. No, say revolution. Okay, guys, here we go. Put yourself in this. Yes, yeah, come on. Press it right there, sir. Doesn't. <laughs> uh, just a minute. Come in. The press is waiting, sir. If we see them now before the dinner, we might make the evening news. Let's do it. States. You have five minutes. Mr. Rich. Mr. President, President Bajorquez has accused the United States of invading Colombia. Is this correct? No. Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, President Bajorquez claims he has proof which he'll be presenting to the UN Security Council. He's threatened to take over the U.S. Embassy and hold Americans hostage. No one likes to contemplate the loss of American life. But if Bajorquez takes one American hostage or violates the sanctity of our embassy, I, for one, will consider that an act of war and will order an immediate, appropriate response. Come in. Simon Escobar is here to see you. Show him in. Gentlemen, what a pleasure to see you. What a pleasant surprise. He was a commanding officer in charge of guarding your factory, Al Nahim. He failed. He claims he doesn't know who attacked him, but a uh, few more moments with the babe will refresh his memory. Ignorance is not a crime. <laughs> Failure is a crime. Sit down, Presidente. Surely the uh, Americans do not want another hostage situation. They think I scared them pretty good, no? No. The Americans are the most powerless, powerful people in the world. Until you give them a legitimate reason to intervene. Only an idiot would do that. No? You cannot talk to me like that. I control the army. The last president told me the same thing. I still send him flowers every day. He lives in a big white house. You can't miss it. It's right in the center of the cemetery. You are still the president. But Hans is in charge. The rebel army must be wiped out. And the peasants must be taught that the price for helping them is very dear. Sit down, president.
What's the matter, man? What is it? Her rib cage is crushed into her lung. She's in shock. Well, can you do anything for her? Can you help her? I'd have to cut her and reinflate the lung. So? This place is filthy. She'd die from infection alone. She's gonna die if you don't. Just do it. Like the old days. All right. Give me a lighter. And a tube. Any kind of tube. Anything hollow. Here. Will this do? All right, hold her. Keep her windpipe clear, chin up. Hold her head. If I nod, breathe her. Right. Here we go. Hold the arm. Oh. Look here. Keep the windpipe clear. Different down here on the ground, these flyboy. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'd like to stay with the wounded. I think I can, I can help a few of them. When you're done, have one of the local people take you to Christina in Eastland. They're on the road to Talama. Probably could use your help. Thanks. One thousand is a lot of money for someone like you. I haven't seen her. But you haven't even looked. El Presidente really wants to find her. Don't you want to help El Presidente? El Presidente is a piece of shit. Soldiers? Soldiers? There are no soldiers here. You're right. Take us to the control room. Come on! Let's go. Stop right there. It's okay. It's okay. You too. Don't make a move. Satellite camera, something. 
depot looks just like the photograph. No dogs, no guards. Too bad I can't see the future. Can't do that. But I can give you a detailed map of the area between here and the palace. Let's do it. See you at the palace. Be there. sudden stop could set it off, so once you're all lined up, secure the steering wheel, pull up in, get out. Got it. Let's go. Muy buenas noches, señor Molina. La Barrera! Turn this thing on. Hermanos colombianos. A few years ago, we used to have free elections. We used to have newspapers that weren't afraid to speak the truth. We had judges that weren't afraid of the criminals. Now a presidente lives in a palace and the drug lords own 80% of the farmer's land in our country. Our children chew coca, and their eyes glaze over. Make your next left.
No. Stay. You ready? Pull the pin. Going on here. We're under attack. Open fire. I said open fire. Okay. So far, so good. Effective immediately, I have ordered the Treasury of the United States to begin printing a new form of U.S. currency. This new money will be exactly the same as the old money, except that instead of being green, it will be printed on red, white, and blue paper. 
For a period of one year, any legitimate bank will be authorized to exchange old money for new money on a one-to-one -one basis. Any transaction in excess of $10,000 will, of course, be subject to internal revenue and law enforcement scrutiny. How much longer? An hour and a half, two hours, depending on the roads. Is there an airport anywhere near here? There's a small airport about 50 miles away from here. You get me to an airport, I'll get you to Bogota. I'm glad I converted my assets into Swiss francs last week. <laughs> It'll be good to eat some nice food for a change. Alto, están detenidos. Desgraciado, la buena vida se ha acabado. Yeah, you did. <laughs> 